Hey everybody, welcome back to the Revelation Bible Study. My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. We are going through the entire book of Revelation, but as you notice, we're only going through in little small chunks, just bite-sized pieces here and there, and we're going slowly just so that we can break it all down and make it easy to digest. You know, one of the things people always say is that revelation is too difficult or there's things we just don't understand. So I thought, you know what? We'll just do it slow. Okay. And we're still in chapter three. You can always go back and watch the other videos and that get you up to this point, or you can just start from right here. Uh, we're reading the letter to the church in Philadelphia and all these letters are uh, orated by Jesus, written down by John and there's been a series of letters. Jesus has said uh, what he's liked and what he thinks needs to be improved in these various churches. And so far, the letter to the church in Philadelphia has been good. He's been saying nothing but great things. And we're gonna pick it up in verse 10. So this is Revelation 3, verse 10. Because you have kept my word about patient endurance, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to try those who dwell on the earth. So we see Jesus praising this church for a couple of things. One, they have kept their word and that they have endured. And you know, there really isn't a Christian anywhere that hasn't experienced some sort of hardship in their life. We've all had times that were good and times that were bad, times where we felt like giving up. But this church in Philadelphia shows their love by keeping God's commands and, Jesus says, enduring patiently. But there is more revelation language here, isn't there? There's just something else going on that might make some people raise their hands and say, well, I'm lost. He says, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to try those who dwell on the earth. So that would cause you to ask, well, what is that? What is the hour of trial? Well, sometimes it's translated as Tribulation, which would make you ask, okay, what is tribulation? In the study of Christian end times, the Great Tribulation is a period that's mentioned by Jesus as a sign of the end of days, when things all come to an end. Christians who study these passages in the Bible fall into a couple of different categories based on how they read these pages, how they interpret them. But at the core of it all, the Tribulation is a period of time where the world experiences more hardships, more trials, more disasters, famine, war, pain, suffering, all of which comes to an end at the second coming of Christ. If you are a pre-tribulationist, you believe that those who follow God will be raptured or taken to heaven before all of these hardships take place. On the other hand, post-tribulationists believe Christians have to endure all of these things along with everybody else. So who is right and who is wrong? Because the passage we just read says, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to try those who dwell on the earth. So this passage says, this passage says that all the believers are removed. But there are other passages that say the exact opposite. So it's hard to choose. And I bet you want me to pick a side. <laughs> You'd like me to give you a clear answer. Okay, here's the thing. I don't see the Bible as choosing sides. God is not left, God is not right. God is bigger than those options and he's bigger than left and right. In fact, every single time I see people try to limit God or to put God in a box or to find God, uh, I think he breaks all of those walls. He breaks those molds, those stereotypes. I believe God can be both and. So again, what do I believe? I believe that what happens is going to happen and it's really not for us to say and it really won't matter because I know that if we take the same uh, path that the church in Philadelphia take, and that is to patiently endure, 
then God will be with us either way. And we can't ask for anything better than that. We'll continue in chapter three next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.